everybody and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Today's going to be a really awesome day because we're going to get to share a little update of the garden. So you get to see how the garden is. And so first of all, we actually planted this tuja arborvitae, which is the same as that tuja that we have over here. And so we have them in each corner and we planted another one over here. And we also put um, this spruce, the dwarf spruce tree, we put it in the front. You can see that the bitter irises are all blooming super cute and pretty. But now you know they are going into the second bloom because these are the blooming irises. And if you want to know more about the irises, then we have a video already for you guys about all about the irises and how to propagate them, divide them, and all that kind of stuff. One of my beautiful my favorite plants right now is this that we have over here, which is the montag daisy it gives you an amazing beautiful white flowers i'm letting the um clovers grow everywhere you know that i love clovers it's a natural nitrogen fixator you can actually look it up in one of my videos that i did of how to save money when you are gardening i'm going to put it in the description down below this section that we have over here let me put it this way so you can see this section that we have over here, which is a sitting area that was not here when we moved, we have been slowly letting those three, um, oh, I forgot, the holly, those holly trees, letting them grow so that they can get all together. And now, finally, this year, you can see that they're almost touching each other. So now I'm ready then to cut it and give it that shape of an L shape, like a, a little square box. So that it looks more private so it's gonna be really cute we have another one of the tuja arbutais over here that we also planted again another tuja just like the one that we have in the corner over here so it's gonna look really cute really pretty i love it that way we have evergreens every single time during you know winter when everything dies you can see that the azaleas are blooming so beautiful and you can see that also there's a little hint of purple over here which is of the uh, sage plants that we have and some of the lily of the valley are also going everywhere which i'm gonna let them literally just go everywhere and just they spread like weeds everywhere and they're so pretty again everything in the corner is all of the beer irises and i need to divide them again to unite everything but little by little we're getting there as you can see again another one of the sage over here lily of the valley everywhere we have the entrance that we created of the uh, mountain the mountain boxwood mountain boxwood and then the circle you can see that we also have a lot of the boxwood around it which are growing really pretty this is the Natchez Crepe Middle. You know that we have a video also the Natchez Crepe Middle with all the different faces because it just looks so beautiful during the autumn or like a fire burning, super amazing. And then it also gives you at the end of summer. So when everything dies, this tree still during summer gives you this beautiful white flowers, luscious, lots and lots of it. It's really pretty and it's in the center garden. So it just looks amazing. It's a beautiful contrast. And so you also see that inside we have lots of different plants. We had the balloon flower that I have shown you before also in another video. There's so much and the society garlic. We're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna walk over there. But let me just show you this over here. Look at this. And for the azaleas, which now they are about to be wilting, you see, because we are in the summer that is getting all that heat of the summer. So they don't survive the heat of the summer. But look at that beautiful, beautiful, amazing azalea. So we do have a video also for you guys that we created already of the azaleas. They are amazing, beautiful flowers. We talk about all the different benefits and all the not benefits of the, not so benefits of the azaleas, like that mad honey. I don't know if you guys have heard of that mad honey. But yeah, from the azaleas, it's one of the, the flowers that you can get the mad honey the most which is you know whenever the bees actually get and extract the pollen and they create then their honey from this flower then if we were to consume that honey yeah we will have a lot of some neuro neurological problems so yeah 
really incredible. That's why we don't have that many. We always try to actually be very conscientious about what we're planting in here. Oh, I didn't tell you, but we did divide in here. We're dividing a lot of the Montai daisies. So you can see the Montai daisies over there. There's another Montai daisy right here. You see, there's another baby over here. So the goal is to have like one, two, three, four, five, like seven or so of those everywhere. So it's going to be really cool. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to go into this side of the garden. So when we go into this side of the garden, I love this view. This is one of my favorite views right now in the garden. Remember that in here, this, this was not here. I mean, if you look at this two and a half years ago, there was nothing there. So it's beautiful to when you go into the house, you're seeing already a path of a garden and it looks so cottage like I love it. And so in the corner, we also have one of the Montai, the Montai, oh my gosh, the mountain boxwood, which uh, it's really cool. And I want to actually divide it all around in here. So we also have the evergreen during the winter. We also have over here the Italian cypress. There are three Italian cypress, Weigela. Um, we also have the black shog berry and I'm going to put all the plants that we having I'm going to put them also in the description down below Because I know that you guys love plants like me. We always try to grow everything here perennial So this is all perennial plants so that I don't have to worry about having to plant them over and over again One of the things that you can see over here that I'm really proud is this black shot berry so the black shot berry is going to grow like a shrub really beautiful evergreen and it gives you this berries that you can actually eat so this is also edible we try to grow also edible landscaping so in here it's going to unite this section of the black shot berry with another black shot berry that we have over here and we're going to keep on propagating them we see that we also added some of the the irises which i think i need to move them either to the front but yeah i'm gonna keep on propagating them Weigela, which already the bloom wilted so that's why i need to do the video now because if not you're not gonna get to enjoy the flowers and look at these flowers so beautiful aren't they amazing again Weigela, Weigela. but as you can see I waited too long to do a video for you guys because you can see that the flowers are already wilting just like it happened with the azalea so yeah they are the most beautiful is at the beginning of spring the same happened with the irises as well so a few weeks ago the garden was just in prime but unfortunately I have been super busy I have been focusing and taking some board exams so that's why I have not been able to actually come over here and and show you the garden but i needed to show you the garden now so let's keep on enjoying this over here so you guys remember there was nothing in here so now it's really pretty to actually see this so you can see the entrance that we created the the tree trees over here aligning the flowers you can see also the entrance that we have for the house and then over here this in the front we're trying to create this double hedge it's asymmetric so we have then trees are going to be bigger trees are going to be smaller and a lot of evergreen so let me show you in these trees if you have not been here these trees are the holly trees that we had in the front that i show you so i and when we moved in here we had six of them just all next to each other it was impossible for them to actually grow because they were competing for the space too much so we relocated them and so we have them four of them over here and then two on the other side so i'm going to show you So this holly over here, you can see that it's a little bit stressed out, but don't worry guys. I, this holly is going to be exactly like the holly that we have over there in no time. We also have over here lots of babies that were given to us by a person that was giving branches of the you know divisions of their flowers. And so in here, we have lots of the burning bush tree. So burning bush tree, everything in here is the burning bush. You're going to see lots of little stakes like this of the burning bush. But they grow beautiful. Once this actually grows and it, it gets to, you know, that four feet more or less wide and high, 
and then you can get to enjoy the red colors that it has and the little berries it's just gonna be so pretty so yeah this is gonna be a little hedge of the of the burning bush really cute and then over here we have actually four of these so four of this over here which are the um magic the coral magic coral magic crepe mural so just like that crepe mural that we have over here this grows like a natchez crepe mural grows like a fan umbrella like as you can see over there you don't have to worry about cutting it nothing like that right now most of the crepe mural they grow in that shape but this is the exception this crepe mural that you can see over here and look at this cool thing look at that color i mean it's super beautiful this grows pretty big you know 10 feet more or less wide five to six feet i think high and not don't quote me because i don't remember exactly the the feet but it's pretty big but it's bush like very bushy very bushy it's not gonna be tree like it's a it's a bush okay so it's very circular circular so if you're looking for a bush and it gives you lots of pink flowers so this uh, eventually will give lots of pink flowers <clears throat> but the stem as you can see is like that purple almost red blood color which you get to enjoy almost all year long so that's why they call it that coral magic it's, it's really magical it's beautiful and so yeah very special and so we have four of them so all of this uh, uh, in this line is four of those coral magic so i'm not gonna go into sh showing each one of them and then this look at this the baby this is actually a maple tree we got it from seed so in here we get lots of seeds you know <clears throat> from the trees that we have around so i planted one of them in here unfortunately when they were cutting the grass they actually caught it a little bit to the trunk um, but we put some of the stones protected and now it's growing back again strong and so it's gonna be like that tree that we have in the other side and so that way we have in here during autumn we will have then two trees in the corner the tree in the corner over there the tree in the corner over here that are gonna be anchoring the house with that orange color because we only have orange color in that side of the house and we don't have it in this side of the house so that's why we planted another one over here and then in the entrance we're trying to create this little entrance over here. Let me show you. When you get into the front of the garden, you see that we put two trees to anchor the front, which are again, evergreen Italian cypress, which I love, 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 love those trees. And then really pretty, you see that we also have this hibiscus plant and this hibiscus plant oh they're they're actually taking the trash okay cool so we have then in here the hibiscus plant which is so pretty and this comes to life look at this this is important you see this is a new stem completely new stem so the old stem actually dies completely and this doesn't happen with all the hibiscus we actually have different hibiscus plants over here and the other hibiscus they actually grow from the old stem so whenever you buy a plant you need to read about it very carefully i'm going to actually make a video of the hibiscus i haven't done a video for you guys with the hibiscus and show you the plants that we have here we have three different four different hibiscus varieties and they all grow differently and so this one over here as you can see old stem over there you have to cut it then to the ground so make space then for the new growth and then the new growth as you can see comes completely from the ground and it gives you a new shoot and this can grow really big in one season it can grow up to five feet high really big it's just amazing amazing and the flowers that it gives you so beautiful so we have um behind is the red dogwood and we have in the front is the gardenia which the gardenia is not doing that well let me see oh come on baby so the goal is to actually have the gardenia over here which gives you this beautiful white flowers that they smell amazing if you have had the perfume of a gardenia you know what i'm talking about so this gardenia we want to actually propagate it and then make this little hedge of gardenias over here so then we have then the hollies over there with as we said the coral magic in the back which we're going to be pretty 
tall then we had the layer of the burning bush and then we will have the layer of the gardenias and so you have this different colors different textures and it's just gonna look amazing and the smell also and so when we go into the circle over here this is i'm so proud of this circle we actually have a video of how we did the circle so if you're looking to make a circle in your garden then you can actually check the video as well of how to make your own circle garden and so in here you know that i try to propagate and to grow things as much as possible one of the things that i'm going to focus i think this year the most is about mulching you know i have noticed that wherever you mulch a lot you have new things growing and you don't and, and, and it makes sense because you know if something grows in the grass then they will cut the grass and it will just die but look at this this is new things growing that i have to relocate all of this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen those are all um the balloon flowers which are those over there the balloon flowers if you want to know more about it we did a video they give you this beautiful purple blue color really special color and they open like a star and at the beginning they they look like a little balloon like an actual balloon for like party balloon and then they open there's really really dynamic really pretty i love it i enjoy it. i made a video for you guys about the plant because i love it so much so we have around the whole garden we had the balloon flower and the balloon flower is giving us lots of babies so i'm thinking about having then the balloon flower in also that path that we have in the front so i get to enjoy that in the morning but i would also like to put them in the front in here over here as well so i don't know you guys give me give me opinions in the description down below um we have also the candy tuff over there which you see then this white flower is really pretty we have a lot of the hostas over here so the hostas i would like to divide a few in here um, for them but they're very you know they grow really cute and this is the first year that we actually see in it cute like that because last year was not it was not doing that well we also have some of the um what is it called sebium over here but the thing is oh and look at that look at this boxwood this boxwood it was just a tiny little baby and I need to divide it. What I'm going to do is take some cuttings and I'm going to put it in the side. This has to be removed. This is a sucker for the notches. So you see, every time that you see stuff like this, you have to remove it. Because it's, you know, it's just, it's just a new tree of this notches that's going to be growing. Um, yeah, we also have the Sebium Fire, if I'm not mistaken, over here. Really cute and yeah there's a whole bunch of other plants in here i'm gonna put it and then look 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 at this we even have a new baby holly which i'm gonna let it grow pretty big and then i've relocated then to whatever section i wanted so those are all free free plants i mean whenever i see stuff like that i'm super excited because we just get free plants okay let me walk you to the front thing that um, we have in the front in the hedge that we're creating is this tuja arborbitae so remember that I, I showed you the tuja arborbitae that we have in each corner of the house you see that evergreen and we said that we planted another one over here for the house and we have another in each corner of the house we had that tuja arborbitae well the same we did in the front we have a tuja arborbitae so we're gonna have and uh, yeah we have two of them so we're gonna have the pyramidal shape in the front we have then the italian cypress those two and those two um tuja arborbitae with that pyramidal shape and they're evergreen so that's really cute i mean we're trying to focus in that oh and i did a video for you guys also about like the ones evergreens that i like a lot in the garden i think it was 12 evergreens that i suggest to have in the garden so you can also check that video out I mean, we have been sharing so much content in this video, in this channel, and I love you guys so much. You don't know how happy I am to have a channel thanks to you guys. And I love all the kind messages and the kind community that we have. I just love you guys so much. 
anyways so when we get over here we see then the well garden as i call it so we have the butterfly bush over here which is gonna soon be blooming and you know that gives this purple flower really pretty we have the irises in the front which i am gonna have to remove a few of them because they're really close to the dwarf spruce tree that we put over here we also have a boxwood over here in the side these are also boxwood in the side over here which are from the for you know an entrance that we're creating and in the back there's a lot of things growing so in the back you don't see that much right now but you will see it in a few days these are the pampas grasses right so we have six pampas grass and they grow really tall and when they grow really tall they cover all of this and they are very whimsical because they move really pretty with the with the wind and then we have over here rose bushes which because we relocated it it's not doing that great today you know this year but i'm pretty sure that once established it's going to look even better that i forgot the name but it's also from the tuja family and it's an evergreen as well and then over here it doesn't look like much but it's growing baby it's growing i get too excited this is another hibiscus plant so this is classic to show you exactly how they grow because you can see that the old stems there's nothing coming out of them so that's why we need to cut the old stems and then the new stems come completely directly from the ground how cool it's just so beautiful i love it okay now we're going into the side of the garden we have also um very symmetrical we always try even though that we have this asymmetric you know hedge and layers because as you can see we have a layer we have then layer over here layer over here um we also have that mirror image so what we have on the right side is also on the left side and so we have the italian cypress just like we also have it in the other side by the driveway and in here all of this is the burning bushes just like we have it in the front as well um, we had then the boxwood and in here cool 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 this thing i didn't even know that it was gonna be growing this is actually a lily and so it's growing i saw that there was another lily over there and i think an animal ate it which uh, lilies are not that great for the animals because they're toxic um and well there's a lot of plants that are toxic um but yeah it's a little bit toxic to the animals so you gotta be careful to not plant too many of something that it could be toxic which one of the plants that is the most toxic that i talk about that i didn't like it when we moved in here i like to read about plants was the japanese barberry so you want to know more about the japanese barberry which unfortunately many people have them in their house because they recommend it like people that don't know about it they they recommend it and you end up having this toxic thing in your house so yeah you need to check that out. Okay, so then continuing on with the garden walk, you can see over here that we have also another hibiscus. So this hibiscus is a rose mallow, but it's not a rose, it's actually hibiscus. The rose of Sharon, sorry, the rose of Sharon which is not a rose it's actually from the family of the hibiscus but this hibiscus plant as you can see the the leaves are actually growing from the stem so this is the one that you are not going to be cutting you know once the winter is over so as i always say whenever you're ha you're in doubt if you need to cut something or not let it then start growing the leaves and giving you new growth and then you cut it because if you don't know about you know the the plant itself the plant itself will show you if it needs to be cut or no and then i love i love 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 these plants so this is the golden globe arborbitae and we have a few in the other side of the garden and then we have a few over here we have two of them and they're just so beautiful i just love the you know that they have this shape of a little round ball you don't have to worry about cutting it at all I love the texture of it. I just love it all. I love the color. I love it all. And then during winter, it gets really like a gold color. It gives you this golden color, really cute. And then over here, oh, you can see that there's another one 
of the azaleas. We have then three azaleas in white, one azalea in pink, and the azalea in pink is not growing right now. I think that's a late bloomer for us. And then in here we have uh, some of the blueberries. So we have blueberries over there, a little bit of them growing. But the one that is doing really well, oh, look who we have there. We have Cordelia, our cat. Let me just go say hi. Hi, Cordelia. Hi, mama. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I love you. I love you, Cordelia. And look at Isabella. Isabella's coming. Hi, Isa. Hi, mama. Hi, baby. I love you. Yeah, and we also have a new member. If you don't, if you haven't seen, because I only, I only made a little short video, but we actually got a new member of the family. We have also Max, Maximiliano, a new cat. Uh, yeah, we have been trying for a whole year to get him. He has been visiting us in our front, our front lawn, um, the front door every single day, rain, shine during winter doesn't matter we have tried so many times to get him out share the story another day and finally he came one day we opened the door and he finally walked in and he's, he was, he's the most cuddly sweet boy ever so he is going to stay in our family and yeah we found the the owner the owner cannot take care of him any longer so he just gave it you know gave it to us and we are more than happy to take care of him and now in here, we also have, look at this, berries, blueberries, lots of blueberries. I'm so happy. You don't know, I love blueberries so much. So we're growing lots of blueberries. I would love to grow like a whole section here of blueberries. So right now we have one, two, three, four plants of blueberries. But if I could, I would love to have everything over here like 20 or so blueberries just have lots and lots and lots of them and then over there we have also one of the tuja arborvitae just like this one so it looks like a golden globe arborvitae but it's not at the beginning they look like that and then it will turn around into more you know green color dark green and that will be another hedge that we have over there then on the other side over here you can see that we have Ta -da -da -da! blackberries oh my god oh i have a video also of the blackberries so you can check the blackberries already but look at this my darling if you want to grow flowers just grow fruits and vegetables there's so much flowers that you can get and each flower will be then a blackberry and look at this they're just so beautiful and majestic. This face over here is so pretty. I need to actually cut them and prune them and give you some other advices and secrets that we have of how to propagate um, very easily the uh, blackberries. But yeah, I need to I need to do a video of that. I am so sorry, guys. I haven't made like there's so many ideas and stuff and content as you can see that we can talk about and that we can share and give more knowledge about the plants and even huh, inside the house whoo there is some amazing plants growing that i need to also update you in but anyways this one is so beautiful i just wanted to show you then the little flowers how it's doing it, this is a thornless blackberries and it's just so beautiful and i want to then propagate it all the way over there and then propagate it yeah and then <laughs> over here um, in the bottom, you can barely see it, but we have a kiwi vine. And so this year is actually coming a few little shoots because we got it as a baby. So, and you can see a little few shoots over there. So I have lots of high hopes that this is going to be the year that we're going to get lots of it. I mean, growth, because it will take a few years. And then in here we have then our strawberries and the strawberries you can see that we have a few over there growing it's coming up now the strawberries so the strawberries as you can see they grow in the ground it's a covering plant and then here this is all mint okay i have tried to remove all of this mint but i, I gave up because <laughs> this mint was here before we moved 
and it's very invasive. So even though that I have tried to remove it and remove it, it just grows like a mesh underneath the ground. And so what I decided was like, okay, you want to grow in here, so I'm going to give you then half of it for you, and half of it is going to be then for the, the strawberries. But I actually took some strawberries this year, and I planted it in the front of the garden so that we have a backup plan in case of losing that bed because of the mint, then we still have then strawberries growing in the front. And then in here is one of my favorite places, which is the spruce lane, as I call it. There's a whole playlist of the spruce trees because they are just so majestic, as you can see. Look at all of those new cones. There's a lot of new cones over there growing. My mom would be so happy. And in here you can see that we also have uh, new growth at the tips. These are the spruce tips and it has a lot of medicinal purposes that you can do. You can eat that. And so, yeah, we have a video also of the spruce tips, the spruce cones. We also talk about how you can use the spruce for decorating. During winter, we use a lot of the branches for decoration. We use a lot of cones for decoration. How to make a wreath, centerpiece, you name it. We have lots of beautiful content in our in our youtube channel so you can go ahead check it out i put it under the spruce spruce trees playlist so i try to be very organized for you guys so there's a garden playlist there's a plant playlist there is a spruce playlist look at that new growth new growth new 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 cones oh my god and if you want to know like the cycle of the cones we even talk about that how long it takes for the cones to grow that people think that it's just gonna be you know a few days a week no <laughs> a lot oh there's a bunny over there hi bunny he hides so cute oh another one and so then we arrived in one of my favorite places that we're working on it's a lot of work in progress right when we got this garden it was it was bare it was just a lot of grass and we have been making progress as we go. So this is the orchard. We have in here a few trees. I would say like 21, I think it is. And so it's mainly plum trees, pear trees, peaches, uh, apple. Uh, we have also elderberry. Um, we also planted recently baby cherry trees. Um, and I think I planted another one which I can't for I can't remember so yeah excited but and, and then we have we try to have two of each um, and so this over here is really cute because this is a maple tree and I love that maple tree how beautiful it is it attracts a little wildlife you can see that there's a lot of, of birds over there and it just looks so beautiful during the autumn not many people like the maple but I love the maple trees and so this is one of the plum trees look how beautiful it is i am so excited i'm so proud of you and when we moved i was thinking of like having it being you know short so i can have access to it but as i walk and talk to my garden because i love to talk to my garden and talk to god i have this vision of like having everything in here uniting and this growing really big like a canopy you know really big as long as it can go 20 feet high whatever and everything is gonna be the same and so it's gonna be very romantic and private garden because all the trees are gonna give you that canopy shape and you're like walking underneath it so I really prefer that than to have this farm like tree of like cutting it just for me to have that access I just wanted to let it grow humongous and then I will have lots of fruits to grow and to share with also the animals but because as you can see I don't have any fences I I always have that consideration that you know I'm in here invading the land is this is so in here we have lots of deers lots of rabbits lots of foxes and we feed them and and we share whatever we have with them and I'm not gonna get angry if they eat anything or they they kill one of my trees it doesn't matter this is their land so yeah by having the big trees we're gonna have way more of the fruits and i might have to actually one of those 
pull things to actually get the the, the, the fruits it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for me <clears throat> but that's okay and we get to also share them more fruits with the other animals and then another thing that i noticed as i was telling you guys is that and this is a pear tree uh oh look there's another there's i think this is this is a tree i think this is for a pine tree i don't know i need to actually relocate it but yeah this is one of the things that i noticed whenever we have mulch wherever you have mulch you have then things are growing you know and so this is free growth so I have a design, which if you want to see the design of the garden that I created, you can go also into one of our videos where I share the, the garden design, what I, the vision that we have for the future of the garden. But <laughs> I have a new vision that came to me very recently for this side in the orchard, where the gardens the i don't have to use structure because the the plants itself are giving me the structure so yeah i need to sit down and, and share the drawing with you guys as well because i have shared the drawing of my my garden before with you guys so if you have want to have get ideas of a garden design then i share it with you with all the different plants names and stuff so you i wish that somebody would have done that for me so anyways we have another pear tree over here we have then one of the peach tree over here. Cute baby. Look at those peaches. And there's some peaches over there as well. Peach over there as well. Nice peaches everywhere. I'm very excited for this. Isn't it cool? I mean, so much work at the beginning. But um, yeah, when you do you do gardening, you know that you might not be the one enjoying all of the the fruits of your labor. But I am happy that 10 years from now, 20 years from now, my kids, my grandkids, whoever moves in this house, if somebody sells it after my I'm dead, gets to enjoy it. And so, and here we have another pear tree. Wait. I forget that we have it like this. The pear tree, look at that. This pear tree comes from the apartment because I was the crazy person that had in the apartment a pear tree growing in the balcony. And then, and this is also another pear tree, which as you can see, it was eaten by the deers. So the big deers, they actually took their horns and they just clean and whatever trying to like put like they put their scent in the tree like this is my territory and they actually snap the tree um, but that's okay because when you go into buying a tree you see that they cut all of the branches in the bottom to give you only one stem that's going to be producing a lot of branches at the end so you have like one stem and then it grows on the bottom in the top but that's not how they naturally grow so now by having it like this you see that we have multiple stem and i am trying to grow everything as natural as possible so i'm very happy because now it's going to grow really fast and a lot a lot of branches and it's going to be amazing i can just see people just climbing the tree because now you have access to climbing and stuff and i am a climber so i can imagine and then this side over here is really cool because this was not here this line over here which is dividing then our house from the neighbors. This was not here. We created it, we planted it, and it has a lot of color and texture and also smell. So this is the chase tree, which gives you this beautiful umbrella-like shape. And it gives you beautiful purple flowers. It's a attracting of a lot of pollinators, which is perfect then for anything that's gonna be right next to the orchard. So we have lots of bees coming, butterflies and all kinds of stuff. So if you don't want to have lots of insects next to you, do not plant this tree close to your house. As you can see, this is far away from the house. But I knew that and it smells a lot. Okay, it's beautiful. So this is an amazing plant, an amazing tree. We also have the blue juniper over here, another evergreen, and then the spiria in the front. So again, that layer 
as we were having talking that layer that layer in different colors again in here these are all plums look at all the plums <gasps> so exciting yay i'm so happy i'm so happy and then that one is also another plum giving us lots of plums that's an apple i'm not gonna go into every one because it's just so many and but this is a cute elderberry so i'm very happy about the elderberry because i do love to use you know everything for medicine and look at that elderberry how amazing it is so we have four elderberry because you need to have two different varieties in order for you to actually have elderberries produce elderberries so yeah that whenever it grows enough pretty big then i will go ahead and share the whole process of which pieces it is species it is and all that kind of stuff and then over here look at the spiria really spiria is something that you everybody should have in the garden <clears throat> it's so easy to grow it gives you color and texture all year long it's just beautiful and then we have another maple over here so and i like sitting over here underneath the maple tree very al fresco italian as you can see in here we have we do have a lot of italian plants that chase tree very italian the italian cypress very italian whenever you go into planting anything in your garden first of all you need to call and check if you have any electric lines underneath their soil soil i have said that before so when we moved in here we did that and we checked then for any electric lines that we have underneath the garden and we have a few electric lines going over here and then it goes all the way in this side so i couldn't plant anything um you know that goes straight with what i was planting in this side over here so because i have to keep that eight feet more or less from that box so i left them like 13 feet and then i planted this this heavenly bamboo which the heavenly bamboo gives you all year long color all year long you have texture it's really pretty it was a really tiny baby and now it's growing so i'm very excited and i want to then propagate it a lot and then close up this over here <clears throat> and then we have that texture of the heavenly bamboo now i don't want to have too much heavenly bamboo because it gives you these tiny berries and we're going to talk more about that but it gives you this tiny, this tiny berry that has cyanide and so if the if the birds eat too much of those berries then they can die because of that and i love and enjoy my birds so i don't want to just kill the birds <laughs> okay so then in this side of the garden we are planting lots of goodies over here so over here we actually have the ornamental plantain over there thanks to one of my neighbors and he's giving us babies it was just one and now we have three of them and they just come back again and then we can use the leaves a lot to cook with them and then we have little tomato plants over there thanks to one of my friends which gave me recently tomatoes those are onions so i'm very excited because this is actually my first year growing onion and i am like hesitant when should i pull it so i'm reading about onions now guys and then we plant it all around here is um lettuce we have eggplant egg, eggplant we have the zucchini uh, we have also the yellow squash and then over there you ha we have then also the um kale plant so we have a kale plant a kale plant growing and then in this side of the garden look at this view i'm so excited every time i see this view every time i'm walking here because this was not here like there was nothing in here and I can see now lots of birds, lots of different texture, lots of different layers. It's just so beautiful. But anyways, this over here is the, uh, the fig tree. So our fig tree is doing fantastic. As you can see, we have some figs growing already and I'm very excited for it. This was also coming from the apartments. It was a tiny little thing and now you can see the progress. So eventually when that tree is pretty big, I also need to do a video for you guys about the fig tree. We planted then in this side, we have then the Golden Globe Arborvitae as I mentioned before. 
and then this is a new integration i believe it's a cypress i forgot the name and then over here we planted then um potatoes so we're gonna be growing potatoes over there cool 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 very exciting that is all guys i hope that you enjoyed the garden walk with me that you had a great time going through the garden and seeing everything that is growing and blooming at the moment i know that i should have done this garden walk a few days ago before so you could actually enjoy more of the very irises they were in full bloom and they just look so beautiful but you can enjoy them in the video of the very irises and i'm just gonna wrap it up by showing you the special ones you know the unique which is the very irises that are in yellow so you see some of them in yellow still over here even though that they're already you know wilting away because it's summer coming but they are reblooming so they're gonna give us another one have an awesome day guys i love you all so 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 much you're all amazing thank you for being part of the community for seeing the growth little by little with me for sharing all your kind love with me for just being so awesome i really love you all so much girls boys all ages i am so happy that you are all in here in this garden journey i'm just gonna I'm, I'm, so, I'm just so happy that you're in here in this journey with me as we grow our community and i share all of my craziness with you from decor do-it-yourself gardening my cats the higgy cozy days health related topic the recipes the home remedies the days that we just sit down and chat all kinds of stuff i just so happy that you guys have given me a platform that i am able then to be myself and then just share all the craziness that's always running in my brain thank you so much may you have an amazing day enjoy the day enjoy the miracles i love you all so 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 much enjoy the day bye see you next week